cloudy. Cool. What's up, guys? So I'm, I'm a little red, as you can see. It's because I was watching that episode of Cops. <laughs> I was kidding. I was in the sauna. But we got the car from the other day. This thing was pretty sweet. Has snow tires, but the guy bought it off of lowered it, aka took the springs off the back, and it was aggressive. It was very rough riding. It did really well, super fast for about half an hour. But when I was coming around the corners and it was kind of hopping because the corners were so rough, and I managed to rip everything off there. So, as you can see, the tire is in the back, what's left of it. So. Anyways, we're going to take her down the track, unload it, cut the cat off, explode the engine today. So, we got a tie guy. What's going on? How you doing? Pretty good. Decent week. Yeah. yeah. We got about an uh, hour of, well, till sunset. So, let's do this. We also have the Ford Escape we jumped. Everyone, I know you guys gave Brad a hard time. I didn't even notice it, but apparently Brad didn't put the negative cable back on, so we couldn't start the Ford Escape. So I don't know if it will run if we do it, but we're going to try and we're going to drag it back to where all the other cars are. So for now, we're going to grab the jack and the engine lift because this thing's so low that it actually gets caught on the trailer. So I'm thinking we'll bring it down the track. We'll kind of lift it up and then maybe I can just drive away with my truck. I say that like it's super simple, but it's never that simple. Never simple. Yeah. So anyways, let's, we'll grab everything and then head down. Apparently I hit a white car. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. Perfect. That's good enough, eh? I think, I think it'll work. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> All right, let's go try and take this thing off of the track. Look at that dirt. <laughs> I'm getting yelled at by a seatbelt machine here. Yeah, that tiller, best investment I ever got. She might be a little muddy today though, judging by that puddle. So we'll just do some car stuff. Looks like the boys were here ripping. Oh, they put pylons on that jump. It's half a gap and half a tabletop. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this job we got going. We got the old lift. I'm standing on it. Don't got enough weight here. You're gonna have to stand on this thing, Ty. I need some weight on her. You're gonna have to stand on this lift. Yeah, you got uh, is it neutral? Nope. Turn the key if the key is still in it. Oh, yeah, we're perfect. Yeah, yeah. all right, hop out here. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> really? Yeah. Put your foot on the brake. This car had a hard life. Here, hop on here, I'll do it. It's the worst thing about this time of year is we lose the sun very fast. It's only 5.30 and sunsets at 6.30. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, we got it off. Of course, Ty didn't even hit record, but it wasn't that exciting anyway, it literally just rolled off so off like yeah like butter oh well like a good rib. it's fine so that's how you get a, t a car off the trailer with three tires <laughs> use a lift a and not get a video it's okay it's because you're wearing that hat <laughs> <laughs> anyways we're gonna go get the ford escape it's over there we'll take this trailer off get the yank them rope and yank her over wide open and we're back the old ford escape if you guys haven't watched this video it was from a few days ago. Go check it out. Massive launch. Even the roof blew off. You guys still think it'll start. Apparently Brad forgot the plug in the negative, but we will get her back out in the open and see if we can fire this thing up. Look where the battery ended up, way up there. So she's got a few bullet holes in her too. She's been in a rough neighborhood. Anyways, we got the Yankum rope. This thing's amazing. We drag a lot of stuff with it. And uh, yeah, I think there's a discount code below if you want to check her out. So let's yank her out of here. All right, this time it's recording. Gonna yank it out here. Light it up.
There goes the hood. Can't go wrong when you buy a Ford. Piece of cake. This is an eco piece. Yeah. Can't it's go wrong with a Ford. Yeah. All right, so we don't hit the trailer. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you got longer than that fifth wheel. You got to go nice and wide. There we go. Pulling it like nothing. <laughs> Burke in the graveyard. Are you able to do anything more to this car? <laughs> Gotta love the all season tires. They got a lot of eco boost. I'm I always make fun of it, but I love it. I hate Dodges. Everyone hates Dodges. I hate know. Dodges. Worst ball. I hate me. Anyways, um, yeah, let's jack this thing up. Well, let's see if it starts first, see if we can get it going. And then uh, if not, we will try and get the Nissan going and hopefully drain the oil out and uh, grenade it. We got 40 minutes till sunset, but obviously the sun has already disappeared behind the clouds, so. Let's do this. Let's do it. Well, as Ty gets this Yankum rope taken off, I forgot to tell you, we got some new flashlights from Olight, the M2R Pro Warrior and the Warrior X Pro. The Warrior X Pro is a little bigger, but it's also a little brighter, not too much. Uh, this one's actually my favorite. It's the uh, M2R Pro Warrior. It's got a few different settings. Obviously it's a little, a little bright outside to be using it, but I'll put an example in the corner. And the uh, best part about, us, about this is uh, the charger just pops on the end. So these are definitely my favorite flashlights. They've sent me probably 30 different ones now. And yeah, check them out. There's a link below. They're always on sale. Okay, Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, the positive still here. The negative, as you can see here, it got ripped off. It's on the battery. What's that? It's still on the yeah, battery. Yeah, it's still on the battery. So hopefully we can just do that. And then the next thing. Oh, door opens. Seat's probably soaked. The key actually. That doesn't help. I don't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I guess we're going to do the uh, Nissan instead. Where's the Showing key? Lights, though. Showing lights. Yeah, power. Where's the key? I took it up to the house because <laughs> I assumed I didn't realize that Brad didn't have the negative on, so I assumed that this thing was screwed. But you know what? I'm gonna grab a screwdriver. This thing's pretty screwed. Maybe a screwdriver will work. Let's see. Gone in 60 seconds I'm by sure. Mark Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I think we need to get the actual key. But for now, we still have the Nissan. Now my Dodge key is stuck in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whose idea was this? I need this for the Durango. Ah. Yep. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Just a little warp. All right, well, let's try the Nissan instead. <laughs> what a beast. What do you, you got to, here? You want to try and start it? Key in there? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, it is. Four ways are on. Let's see if she starts. All right. Nothing. Put it in park. That would help. Put it in park is the answer. All right, well, let's lift it up. We'll drain the oil into the bin and then uh, 
Maybe we can explode this thing before it's completely no RF. <laughs> What a chore. I'm glad we brought that thing down, even though you got to stand on it. <laughs> we just got the oil draining out now, as you can see, right there, a couple liters, and then she's go time. Maybe I'll just start it. Start it right now. Maybe that'll help the oil shoot out quicker. Oh, well, already done. All right, ready to do this? Recording. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> Need my weight. I guess you should have stood on it. Oh. Yeah, we unstrap it. That was an epic fail. Who puts these in mud? Not much oil came out of it, that's for sure. Ugh. All right, let's uh, loosen this thing and jack it back up. <laughs> More solid ground. They say put it in dry because a red line's better than if you're in neutral. That's what I'm told. I don't know. Let's see it. Temp number two. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't fall over. Fully two minutes, but sees pretty good, pretty eh? Good. Sees tighter than a. You guys can. Beep. You guys can write that in the comments. Huh. Oh. Well, I'm glad that was a success. Um. Yeah. Don't try this at home, obviously. I wish I had the key for the Ford Escape, but honestly, by the time we run up to the house and run back, well, we could try. Try, we try. before the sun. I gotta shave my beard. Oh, we got tons of time. It's always wing night when we're going. <laughs> wing night. night. It's always wing night. All right, let's run up to the house. We'll grab the key. We'll have to go through about 100 keys, but there can't be that many Ford keys. You know, Fords are, they don't break down. They don't so break down. Go. Exactly. So, all right, let's go do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully this thing isn't on fire anymore. <laughs> let's roll. So, this is the issue I have. It's somewhere in here. There's probably 50 keys in here, 100, I don't know. It should be 200, but I don't always keep them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, start sorting the Ford keys. Six keys so far. Six keys? Six keys on the drive. <laughs> oh. Couple more. It's not power, I know that. It's not that one. <laughs> uh, hopefully we find it. I know it's in there. I shouldn't have spoke too soon and threw it in there. Should have waited. 
Oh well. We got time. We got time. Hopefully we can get it going. Any luck over there? Uh got a couple more here. Couple Those more? Don't work. Alright, well he gave me a few of these already. I remember it had a ring on it. I'm pretty sure that was the support track key. But let's try this one. Ugh. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Need more hands. Oh, first try. Found it. Good Fine. to go. First try. All right, we need the no kill. And that's it. Look at the steering column. This is why I don't stay in the vehicles when they get jumped, because I would be dead. Everyone's like, oh, you're such a little bitch. It's like, well, you can try it. I like my body. I tortured it enough over the years. And I'm still torturing. I don't need to freaking kill myself. Oh, All right, yeah, I grab the no-co and get her going. All right, here we go. No-co is on. Yeah, you have to like yank up the steering wheel. See where she lies. I don't know where to put this, right there. Lots of noise is going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. This is a Ford. And what happens with Fords when oh, they get yes. jumped? Uh, it's, it's come back to my head when <laughs> so, I hit my head. Slowly but surely. So there is a fuel, what's it called? Sure. Inertia switch. I always forget this. So any Ford vehicles, I don't know why they do this, but if they take a hit or, you know, some kind of slam, there's like a little rocker switch inside that turns the fuel pump off. So... Most vehicles now, they're up under here. Some vehicles are back behind these. So we had that minivan on the weekend is behind there, behind the jack. So let's see if I can find her. Sometimes it helps to do this. If I had a flashlight, that'd be quite handy. All right, we got the O-light. See if we can find it. So there was a hole in this thing, but you know, I just did the honorary thing and ripped it right off. So this is what it looks like. There's a little red button on the top, as you can see. You just jam your finger in there, push it down, and hope for the best. What's it gonna be? Give her some gas, if you even can. Oh, my pipe. Grab that, I still need that pipe. It's holding It's holding the gas down. Maybe that's why I won't start. I got her wedged between the gas and the seat. Here, just pull this switch. Get all electric seats. Okay, I'm gonna need that. Thank you. Give her some gas. Well, she was full throttle there, just pump it with your foot. Probably, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's not too bad. I saw it. Wet. Just do the half it's stand. Flooded. Nah, it's a Ford Escape. These things don't flood. I don't think it's going to happen. Keep it going. Couple more tries for the tube. Is your leg not heavy enough? I'm kind of wondering, like, there's nothing wrong with this car. Like, <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe the fuel line got ripped off or the fuel pump or something. Bring it back for warranty. Yeah, warranty. Anyways, I'm not too worried. At least we got to explode the Nissan, is it Versa? I think it's a Versa. I've been calling it an Altima, but I'm pretty sure it's a Versa. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Obviously this one's not gonna go. We tried though, 
I saw, I read all your comments. Trust me, I read all your comments all the time. I can't respond to all of them, but I try to respond to a lot. So obviously leave as many comments as possible and share the videos on Facebook. Much appreciated. And yeah, then we can buy more cars and do more stuff like this. So anyways, thank you guys again. Thank you, Ty. You're the hero here. Make America great again. <laughs> oh, classic. Thank you, NOCO, for boosting every car we've ever owned. And have a fantastic night. Buy a Ford.